Welcome to my new video on All Smart Repair. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the screen glass of an Apple Watch for 44mm. It's the same way with the 40mm, so you can use it for both. First step is to heat up the device to 80 degrees. Uh, you can use a hairdryer for that or something else to heat up. And after you have heated up, you take a thin scalp and go through um, the frame and the glass. After you've been through the glass, uh, you can take a thin plastic chip and put it where the knife was. With the plastic chip, you now gently pull it uh, through the frame, um, all over the frame, 360 degrees. And after you've done that, you can pull up the display. When you do that, you have to be very gently to not uh, damage the OLED screen or the force touch. Um, the force touch is the small thin flex cable in the frame and you have to be very careful with that, but you also can buy a, a new one. It's around about 20 bucks. With the thin scalp, I also try to remove uh, the glass in the frame end. Um, those glass pieces can damage the OLED when you try to pry out um, the OLED screen. Also, you have to be careful that you not uh, pull the tool too much into the frame so you damage the flex cables of the OLED screen. You can buy spare parts and the working tools in the description and please don't be angry that my English is little bit German. Yeah, when you have pried out the displays, you can see um, the flex cable of the Apple Watch 4. Um, therefore, you have to uh, pull up the glue tape that sticks on the flex cable. I use uh, my thin scalp for that. Um, first, you have to heat up the flex cables a little bit so the glue gets a little bit sticky and is easy to remove. Then you uh, try to pull up the copper plate, the copper glue better, and therefore you use a knife. Uh, also you use a knife for gently removing the tape above the flex cables. They are holding uh, the flex cables in place. Um, I remove them completely and at the end of the video I will put new uh, glue on there. Also you have to uh, pry out the clips um, that are holding the flex cables, therefore you also use the scalp. When we have pried out the display, first step is to remove the edge glass of the OLED screen. Um, that's because of if you're not doing that, you have those edge notch and you can easily damage the OLED screen when you try to separate both with a thin wire. And that's why we just take this tool and try to remove the glass of the frame. Next step is to gently um, split the glass so you can easily remove the edge glass from the OLED screen.
When you are ready with that and fully remove the edge, um, then you can separate the, both the glass and the OLED. Uh, therefore you use the wire, um, be very careful with that to not go through the touch screen and gently pry the wire through the glue. It's not necessary to remove all of the glass edge because uh, we can help by pulling the wire in the other direction. So when you go through the edge, you just pull on the side where no edge glass is left. Um, for holding the display on the plate, I use a vacuum machine. You also can buy it in the description and because sometimes the glass breaks very bad you have to use tape for um, helping the vacuum machine holding the OLED screen. Um, the vacuum machine is also heated up to about 90 to 100 degrees. That's the best temperature to separate the Oka film from the OLED and glass. When you have removed the glass from the OLED, uh, next step is to clean the rest of the glue. Therefore you can use your fingers and for the little pieces you use um, this uh, liquid I use, I showed in the video. 
I will link the liquid in the description so you can buy it for removing the ochre glue. After you have uh, cleaned all of that, you have a little bit of scratches, that's no problem because the loca fill we use it's an UV glue um, is going into those little scratches and you will not see them after you have replaced the new glass also it's necessary to test the OLED if everything is working for me everything is working so next step is to pry out the flex cable again and now put on the new glass with the local UV glue Um, for me, I took too much uh, of the loca glue. You can take the half of the glue I took, um, that's enough. Because if you take too much glue, it will come out of the sides and you have to clean all of that glue and that's very bad. Yeah, when you have put on the glue, you take the new glass and gently um, put it on the glue. Don't be too fast, because if you put it too fast on the glue, uh, glue you will have little bubbles and we don't want to have bubbles under the glass because that's ugly. When you have put on the glass on the OLED and the glue you just leave it there for maybe 10 minutes and the glue will go and do its work and you don't have to do anything anymore. If you took too much glue like I did, just put a little paper or microfacet uh, towel underneath so the glue will go into there. After you have glued the OLED screen, um, you have to be sure that the screen is in the right position. Therefore, just look into the uh, light and you will see how to place the uh, OLED screen. After that, you just take your UV lamp. I took a nail UV lamp and that's working fine for me. I'm using it for five years now and it works great. After two minutes, uh, the glue is hardened and you can now turn the display and clean it from the back side.
after you have cleaned all of that we now um, again put in the flex cables to test if the touch screen is working and the OLED is working as well therefore just um, put in the flex cables and start the device when the device has started you now test if the touchscreen is working and you do not have bubbles anywhere um, I'm not showing how to glue uh, the display uh, because I just forgot to film that but no problem I will link the glue I use into the description uh, at the end of the video you just have to clip the flex cables and glue the edge of the frame so on on the force touch and fix it i hope you, you liked the video if you liked the video please give thumbs up and leave a feedback and an abonnement therefore uh, have a nice day and see you